Podcast 2. It's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 233. If you're new to my channel, I hope you like what you see. Subscribe, comment, do all the YouTube things. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming back this week. I look forward to our visits every single week. So let's do this. Um, I want to, uh, there's like tons of information to give out this time and some stitching, of course, but um, I had a couple questions and I'm, I, I have a list so I don't forget. So we're, we're going to do this. Um, I had, first of all, been called out for my tree not being decorated from Vicki. Love you, Vicki. I went out and got some pretty garland and some decorative eggs for Easter. Um, just a little bit because I don't know what to do up here, but um, got a little bit of Easter decorations. Uh, secondly, I had shown some charts or uh, finished stitching from previously. And somebody asked if I ever remembered where I got a couple of them from. I know I can't remember the shamrock at all. I will. I, I still have one other place I can look. But um, I do have a dear friend, Katie, who found this one for someone. Someone asked me where the Kiss Me chart came from. So the link is going to be in my description box below. You're going to see it say Kiss Me. And it's a simple little chart, but I am I want you to go to them and get credit for it. So it is from Kath, Catholic Sprouts. And as you see, it says there, it's got a whole article and there's a place in the article that says click here and you can download it. You guys seen those before. So if you are interested in this quick little stitch that says kiss me, it's there. And I think this is so cute. And you could like do this in several different colors for different seasons and I don't know, leave the shamrock off or put a heart on there set, whatever, but super cute. Love it. And thank you very much, Katie, for sharing that. Um, Katie and her son, I love them both. Uh, we're picking on me dearly because uh, I always say, oh, I can't remember or whatever. And they're like, use a pen, paper. I wouldn't remember where I put the pen and paper. And so, the, and it was kind of a joke, but we were addressing that. Katie's been a vlogger, a blogger for a very, very long time. So she has very good records in regards to her stuff. Me, on the other hand, um, my sister and I made this pretty little journal and stuff, but like, I didn't, I, I didn't, I think I have a few entries into it, but then there was a big low where I did nothing. And then the floss tube world created me starting to track it, really recording this started me tracking things. So, um, I have a lot of my history, but just not all of my history. <laughs> so there's that. Um, also, um, I had a question from someone on here asking me how I record my videos. So, um, if I remember, I'm gonna take a picture of this mess and put it up, no promises. But um, I basically have a tripod and my, I've used an iPhone and my iPhone is set up there and is on um, on the tripod. I don't even use the light that's attached to this. I usually wait till a certain part of the day and record based on natural light. That's why you'll notice sometimes it's gloomy. Um, it's just based on what my real weather is. So that's that. I have this chair that I sit in, which I change in and out. And I already told my daughter, I said, I think I'm bringing the other one back in. I don't like, I don't, I don't know. This chair is like a nemesis. I can't seem to get rid of it. I, I do I do not like it, but my daughter loves it. But I'm like, <laughs> so anyway, um, there's that. Um, and then I have like a folding table set up. So where I have stuff, I have a little cue of like what I, so I don't forget what to talk about. But like, if I remember, I'll take a picture uh, before I edit this video and put, put them in here. So, but that was a great question and I thank you for that. Um, so the next thing I have, just some normal stuff we talk about on here every time, the happy mail form. If you have not filled out the happy mail form, please fill it out. March's mailings should be going out um, within the week. So get that, get on that um, and sign it if you would randomly like to be receive a happy mail. There's other links description. Again, I mentioned that coffee one or the coffee one. There is coffee, uh, buy me a coffee one, but there that kiss me is in there that, um, there's another one, a lavender biscorn you that I, was a freebie that I have stitched a couple times that I love. Um, I think that was the lavender biscorn. Anyway. Yeah. So I, Anyway, they're in the links below along with a bunch of friends that have online businesses and stuff like that. So description box below on your, on the TV. I don't know what, I don't know what you click. Um, but if you're a TV person, I'm sure you know what to click. So anyway, I just found out this weekend too, that you can like my videos from the description box. So if you would, please give me a like, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and share the love and make sure that you know when I come up. So there's that, but let's get on to what we're here for. One of the things we're here for is the giveaway from last week. I did a random comment for the giveaway. It is for this chart. And the winner of that is Buckeye Cross Stitcher. 
Buckeye cross stitcher. Thank you so much for all the comments this last week. I believe I'm caught up on the comments. I am so happy for that. Um, okay. So the next thing that we do on here is a design uh, featured friend. On the featured friend this time, I am so happy for this one. I saw this one pop up. I reached out to her and said, this is gorgeous. And she shared the information with me. She doesn't usually share, but she did. So Alma, who is the tattooed crafting um, owl, the tattooed crafting owl, Alma, did the Miss Cherry Blossom. This is a couple shots from her Miss Cherry Blossom. Um, she stitched it on 28 count fabric that's hand dyed by Rolanda, so it has no name. Um, the chart is actually a Mirabilia one. It is a beautiful stitch. I am so glad you shared that, Alma. I love it. Uh, I was fortunate enough to meet her at um, Queen City Retreat when I went to the Mirabilia Retreat, and um, she was a lovely individual um, who also picked on me for my loud entries. <laughs> love you. Thank you for sharing. It is just who we are around here. All right, let's move into the stitching. Um, what I have here is uh, my one finish. I have a finish, a finish for now, and then the stitching for this week. So my finish for this week is the Blackbird Designs. It is called Francis's we're gonna look but there it is it's very muted it's from a um it's part of a section francis's peacock Poo, janet it is from a section of a huge sampler that uh linda from erica michaels uh purchased and she pulled a couple motifs out she does not know yet if she's going to release the whole sampler but she's going to give these berries a little whirl so that was fun and it is stitched and the kit's in here for me to finish finish it um so it's going to go in here for right now for whenever I get around to finishing it. That's what I should do. <laughs> All right, so what do I have next for you is my finish for now. And this also had a question on it, so let's just go answer that question first. The question is, what is my uh, Clouds Factory stitch along on? And it is Fiberlicious Singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain, Fiberlicious. This is where I'm at on it right now. This looks so gorgeous. Opie sit. So gorgeous. Very happy for it. So this section up here was the, the March release and it's done. So this little baby goes away until the April release. All right, Opie, I know. It's like you gotta be part of this thing, don't you? And they love seeing you. I got him all brushed out last night. All right, my next piece that I stitched on is my Mirabilia, which is my queen of peace. This is just a photocopy of the front of the chart. This is what she will look like. And she's coming along. I, I had comments on her this last weekend. And this is where she's at. She's so good. So I worked more in like these dark grays. Um, it's 317, the dark grays. And I think I filled that arm in. I've got some mini uh, stitching sessions where I won't have the chart with me. So that's why like the arm's not filling yet. And this big section of cream is not filled in yet, but um, it will be soon. It will be soon. Possibly before I come see you next time. Looking so good. So good. So that is my status on my queen. My next thing that I have for you is my Seasons of the Heart. I am working on winter. And this is um, by with, with Thy Needle. Yeah, With Thy Needle and Thread. Nope, you're staying here. <laughs> this is where I'm at. Um, the winter one is kind of like a, a doll. Well, actually, some of them. They just blend in, but I think they just make some look antique. So this is on um, Vintage Country Mocha, which is I believe is the called for. So looking very good. Super happy. The trees all went in this time. And maybe some snow. Maybe. I'm not. I can't remember perfectly. So that is where I'm at on that. My next one, I had to call a friend. Um, and I don't know if any of you fall into this, so let's just talk about it. So this is, uh, I call it the gingerbread, but it's Christmas Gingerbread Village by Little Frost Fox Stitching. It's this chart. It is gorgeous. I am stitching it on. I even told my friend the wrong number because I told him I had 18 count fabric and I don't. This is 32 count fabric, I believe. So um, opalescent, raw, when it's finished, it's gonna be 18 by 18. I think that's what it says. Or maybe my fabric is 18 by 18. Regardless, 
um, it's the one I stitched, switched the red out on. And then I was like stitching it this week and started second guessing myself again. Um, I did finish connecting the border. I connected all the way around, but this is what I was talking. I wanted to tell you about, like, I was like, this feels so huge. I feel like I should like cancel this and restitch it again, like one over on or on a higher count. Cause I just feel like it's so big. And I was told, no, those houses are going to look so cute. Those little, the little details are going to look so cute. Yes, they pop on the smaller ones, but it'll pop so much prettier on this. So I am sticking with it. Thank you very much to my friends for, um, making me see the light. I appreciate that. Okay. So my next thing that I stitched on this week is my mini Mondays. I got my mini Monday started of my, the little house needleworks, snowy petites. I am, I know we all want winter to be gone and I do too, but, um, this got behind on. So we stitching them, we stitching it. I am, this is where I'm at. Oh, let me get a board. That's where I'm at on it. I have no idea how many interruptions we're going to have today. All right, so my next one that I stitched on is my What Wednesday. And for What Wednesday, I'm doing the Frosted, uh, not Frosted, the uh, Black Needle Society's Frog Warts Year 3. Um, I am not stitching on this collar at all. It's a piece of fabric that I dyed myself. I would have liked to have gotten further along, but I did not. Nonetheless, I stitched it on Wednesday and we'll progress from there. So I started this. It was fiddly stitching, that's why. And it's on... Um, Etoile, so uh, yeah, it took a bit. It'll get finished. Probably this week I'll get that caught up. and re It's not caught up, but I'll get that little part stitched more. Um, now I have a hangnail. Now, oh, good. I know, you're not supposed to do that, but like it hurts. <laughs> Uh, all right, my next piece that I stitch is for the Grands Friday. You have seen this on here before. I have had questions about this. See you later. Um, I am going to type, it's an Etsy store across the bottom. It's called Happy Nest, um, and a person looked it up this weekend, and they could not find it, and um, she actually just sent a message to the, the um, shop on Etsy to see if they, they could still purchase it. So that's what I would suggest, because she couldn't find it on the listing. The birth announcement that I did for my grandson is also from this designer, so um, I would just reach out, because y'all love this. Y'all love it. And this is where I'm at on it. See you later. I finished out the door dinosaur and the little dinosaur he is so cute he's so cute it's fun to stitch i have like four more i think to go across the bottom of these mm. i know i measured it so i know it's gonna fit it better fit it's gonna fit it's gonna fit and uh that's my stitching for this week so i have a couple um acquisitions or investments or whatever you want to call them the first one is from my friend laura from um Stitching by the shore. She talks about this fabric designer forever and I've gone and looked before and for whatever reason I like pulled the pin probably because I'm not in any clubs right now, but um, I pulled the pin and got um, It actually was the uh, fabric of the month. She has a This dyer dying for cross stitch has a um, Fabric of the month club, but it's not like a reoccurring one. It's like she dyes the color and then she posts it in the different fabric ways and you go in and say me please and whatever. So these were a couple extras that she still had for, this is February's 32 count Lugana. This is what it looks like. I don't, they don't have names. Nope, just says February. So there is that one. And I believe this is, this is the reason that I, I did this was Laura talked about the March one and it is so pretty, it is so pretty. That is coming out way brighter on here. Um, but you hear all of us floss tubers say it doesn't look true to color. Um, yeah, yeah. But she also has some flosses and I grabbed some of these. They're two different colors. These actually have names. This is called Mountain Mist and this is called Dillweed. Um, they're two, like, see the different shades of them? I thought that would, like, work for something potentially. Uh, the next thing that I have is... Um, Dot Dot Goose was having a fundraiser. If you don't watch her channel, go check out Dot Dot Goose. She, um, it's, a, it's a very sad story in regards to a puppy that got, mm, I, I can't do it on here, but if you want to go, D Denise, a couple episodes ago had about it. She had fundraisers where she was selling a bag. I couldn't get on that one. You guys were lightning fast to get those. But then she was like, had such a reception. She had no more of that fabric, but she was like putting a couple other fabrics up for 
um, part of the proceeds going to that. So anyway, so then that, all that to say, I bought two bags in order to help with that. So this is the little Robin one. And this is the new Teresa Colgate one. And I don't know if I got Denise's stuff, dot, dot, goose down below. If not, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to remember her um, dot, dot, gooses in my description box below. QR code right here if you need to grab it. All right. So last but not least, as far as my investments go, are I got my first shipment, as you hear noisily, from um, Bobby of Pumpkin Creek Premise for um, my market releases. So what did I get? What's the first package to arrive for Janet, you say? I got me the two new tiny towns that I needed, Frost, the Frosted and More. Is that called Frosted? Yeah, Frosty and More Tiny Towns. Those were two of them. And then I, of course, had to have those Stacy Nash ones. So I got the three little guys. I got uh, Maggie Mae, Miss Hazel, and Bobbin. I'm sure I'm going to start one of those real soon because those are just adorable. <laughs> and it'll be my first animal crackers. I do have another um, order coming uh, that I was able to, uh, uh, that I placed also. So I do have a little bit more market order and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, all right. My plans for this week. I, um, I'm going to stitch on Charlotte, that which was my one of my whip go calls for the month of March. And uh, I am using Melissa, our, my dear friend Melissa, who is a bag maker, my bag maker also of uh, Shiva Designs. Uh, she has a beautiful blue conversion of Charlotte. I am using that. I reached out to her because I was having problems with a skin conversion. And I'm going to pull hers and pull one other one that I had found and see which one that I want to do. Um, so hopefully at least the skin part will be worked on this week. Um, I don't know. Other than that, I'm going to work on some more monthly goals that I have and let's see if I can get them knocked out in the first quarter this month. And then, uh, then we'll see because my stars hollow, I believe is shipping this week. So if it gets in, that was my focus for the month. So I'm in my head, I got to catch up with my focus. So there's that. I hope it comes in this week. Hope, hope, hope. Um, before I leave for a mini getaway. So that is rolling us into personal information. I am going on a mini getaway this next weekend with some girls and I am so looking forward to it. Um, I am pumped about just getting away and uh, I don't know, just being, <laughs> talking to girls. I, I have the next couple weekends of little getaways and I am super excited about them. So um, I did this last weekend, some stitching. I We went to the store and stitched um, at my LNS, there was about, I didn't even count us. Wait, one, two, three. Seven of us? Was that right? I feel like that's right. Seven of us that were stitching. Um, eight? I don't know, it was a full table. And I brought a table in the back of my car just in case we needed it. Um, a, there was actually a customer that came in and uh, this is the second time she's seen us sitting there and stitching. And she asked me after I was bragging on her Stitch, blah, blah, blah. she brought finishing in to be framed. And after I was like, I had ooing and all and over it, she asked me, um, can anyone come to these things? Yes. Anyone could come. So just, if you're here this long, just so you know, second Saturday of every month at the local store, which is stitch and frame in Wayne Dell up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, we sit and stitch about some of us get there as early as nine 30 and we stay till about 12 30 or one about lunchtime is when people start piecing out. So, um, anyone can come. And like I said, if we get it, if we run out of chairs, I got extra table and chairs in my car. Um, that's going to be like the norm because we love them and we, it gets loud and crazy. It doesn't get loud, but, um, it, it's just good. I don't get to visit with everyone as much every time, but I feel, I don't, I love it. Come and join us. It's a great time. Um, and some people ask in regards to that, um, I just created this on my own. Like uh, a couple girls that I have like clung to that we sit and stitch. We started this of getting together and then it became like the group got a little bit bigger and we just called it at the second Saturday every month and anybody can come. And so if you get, get yourself one, just go hang out in public. If you don't do it at your LNS, um, I grabbed one other real stitching friend. I would go to I don't know, go to the library. We did that one time when our LNS was closed. We just went to the library. So anyway, always, always something that we can do. Um, cause if my LNS actually closes down, uh, at any point in time and I have to find something else, I will. 
because I love this connection with these girls. All right, I'm rambling it too much in regards to that. So, um, as far as the grands go, we've just been hanging out. Um, I got a couple cute pictures. Ozzy was putting her hat on all by herself, and she looks so darn, so darn adorable. She looks like one of the the dwarfs, Snow White's dwarfs. It's just how floppy the hat was. Henry, he's still just the cuddle and, and a holding him stage, but his little laugh, oh my gosh, Lizzie finally got on camera. Um, he sounds like a bottlenose dolphin when he laughs. Is he always going to sound that way? I don't know, but right now he does, and it's super cute. Um, this week, as far as plans go, I got to take two big dogs to the vet. That ought to be an adventure. Mm. Uh, the little pup didn't do too bad, but Gabby hates traveling. So there's that, but we'll see. We'll get through it. It's, it is what it is. Um, and that's it. I can't think of anything else. That I got plans going on. If I have forgotten anything, or if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to put them in the description box below. I have to go and smash all these videos together and remember to add pictures for you. Um, so please, uh, keep your fingers crossed. I can pull this off. Cause I feel like I tell I, people say, don't worry about your dogs when they start yelping and whining, it drives me nuts. Um, because I, I'm like, eh. anyway, I try not to worry. I promise I do. Um, all right, I'm getting out of here. I love chatting with you guys. Please uh, say hey or what you've got going on. Um, just sharing the love, okay? So with that, I'm going to get out of here if you can get on to your next video. So please keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.